FNN。Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, or internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I'm going to start the show today with the chart that、uh, was sent to me by someone from the London seminar that we did.、Uh, he was from Australia.、Uh, very, very skeptical. He、uh, he threw he threw a lot of rocks and stones at A B C D folks, but we we forwarded them off. Anyway, he asked me to look at the Australian dollar while we were there, and as you can see here, I posted that chart that he did. Uh, this morning,、uh, I'll show you the one that I did right after that. And he said, "Well, he said、uh, it looks really interesting, and I can see this because he uses TradingView that's got all of these things on it and stuff. So all the little bells and whistles to give you the ratios and proportion, which you should use if you're going to do something like this. But、uh, the next thing that."、Uh, That I did was I said, well, this is the one that I did, but he missed so much, and I, you know, if someone's this skeptical, folks, <laughs> I don't know what to do. So all I did was I, I posted up the、uh, chart of the Australian dollar for us today. You can see here, there's where we were in London, right here. This is when we finished the seminar here、uh, on the fourth. That was the high right up there, as you can see.、Uh, and of course, the market broke down pretty good, and then it rallied right up to the 382, which I spent some time talking about. And now we're way down at this level, at the 78% level. That's five handles. And、uh, he did the trade, and uh, he. Uh, Uh, he said, "Well, he said I, I just don't understand it very much." He said, "But、uh, it does look interesting." So that's what he said. <laughs> anyway, if you give someone, a, what was the story? Say, if you give, if you,、uh, I'll, I'll think of the thing. Oh, if you teach, oh, here it is. It's here. I just, it's an old Chinese proverb. If you teach a man a fish, you feed him for. If you give a man a fish. You teach him for one day, but if you teach a man to fish, he eats for a lifetime. So I, I, I think that was the, the、uh, thing I was trying to think of was that. Anyway, let's move on to some of these other things, folks. We've got a lot of things happening today, folks, in some of these markets that are really、uh, lining up pretty good. Here's one. That、uh, we've been、uh, bearish on for quite some time. That's completing what we think is a a pretty substantial、uh, move. Let's just get it up here. This is the old slippery one itself.、Uh, crude oil will get up here to take a look at it. If you like A B C Ds, you'll see here that we have just completed right down here today. We went right down to this 95 and change level.、Uh, that completed that pattern right there. It's a big A B C D. If you measured from the high. Down to the low, and then saw the 61% retracement up. Measure the high to the low again, and you're going to see it comes in either today or tomorrow. So watch for a change in crude oil. I don't know about you folks, but I would rather buy crude oil at 96 or 95 and change than to buy it at 130. That's just my opinion. You know, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's better to buy it at 95 than at 130. That's basically, and this is all technical analysis, folks. There's no fundamental stuff in it. I'm sure the fundamentals are in there, but that's over my pay grade, so I'm not going to mention it. By golly, you know, I forgot something today. We are having a great guest again, Mr. Norman. He calls it to the minute. Winsky will be our guest. Tuesday we have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Wednesday we have Alfie Lavoie of Air Software. Thursday we have Shane Smolian of the Wolf Trader. dot com. So got a full week this week.、Uh, Friday is still open, and、uh, we'll see what's happening. Okay, let's move on to a couple other things that are happening here. We've covered the crude oil.、Uh, we covered the Australian dollar.、Uh, I want to cover Bitcoin because I think this is going to be something that is very, very important.、Uh, it, this is again, it's opinion only, but I just want to. Share with you what this just looks like, folks. I, ha I have never traded a crypto, but I'm getting ready. So let's take a look at this crypto here. This is Bitcoin. You see, we made the A B C D pattern here, right there. That was a 382 off of this high right back here. 
Beautiful A, B, C, D up there. You can see it just absolute perfectly. A, B, C, D right there at 48,000. We're now trading 10,000 points under it at 38 and change. But the key is you'll notice this little tiny move here over the last two weeks, that little tiny 382. Oh, my goodness, boys and girls. You want to see it again? It's over here, right there. It's the same type of thing, a little 382. And if that's the case, bada bing, bada boom, we're going down to test these down here. And if we get below 29,000, folks, we can see 20,000 in the Bitcoin. And remember, 20,000 was the high in 2019 when it became uh, on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, when it became listed there. So that's going to be really interesting if we get there, because there is only, uh, John Jameson has told me there's only about, there used to be thousands of these out here, but right now there's only about 200 that are making the grade. So uh, we're watching some of those very, very closely. Uh, Cardano, of course, is one. Um, John recommended buying that at six cents. It went to three dollars, and uh, I think it's trading around 82, 83 cents today. And uh, hopefully, we can get that down a little bit lower, which would be, uh, which, which may or may not be good. We'll see. <laughs> okay. All right, cover, cover a few other things that uh, I think are pretty important here. Let's just take a look at the stock market things that we were looking at for today. Uh, these are from the right directly from the newsletter, folks. You'll get this up here to take a look at it, and you'll see this is what we were expecting today. We were expecting to see this down move here complete in the S&P. This is the futures. Uh, the cash has uh, also completed some of these. I will uh, I'll bring it up here so that you can... Uh, take a look at it here. Hold on one second here. Actually, the S&P is uh, there. Whoa, that's the weekly. That's what we could go on that weekly. I better show that because if we break these lows today and close really bad <clears throat> and close really badly, we could easily get down to this level right here, which will be the weekly price. Price. Gosh darn! Just a second. This would equal. See, if we get down to that 3,700, folks. That'd be the 382 off of the whole move from way down here of last year in March, and that would also equal this move. This move right here, this down move from COVID would be equal to the one that we have going on right now. But right now, it's important that we can hold this level right around 4200, and that is a very important ABCD that we've been talking about. Uh, 4230 was the exact number we were looking for. Uh, we went below that a little bit, and I believe we're trading below it right now. Let me see. Well, we're trading at 4223, so uh, not a big deal yet. And the S and the Dow Jones made a slightly lower low, has rallied 100 points back already, but it's got a chance here to rally. And the reason behind that rally, you know, everybody's panicked right now. Nobody wanted to buy to buy the bonds or anything when they were way down there, right? And remember, this was the one that uh, we talked about last week that we were looking for what we thought was going to be a pretty good rally in the bonds and the notes. And we, we're certainly getting that now. We're three handles higher, uh, a little, yeah, actually, actually almost four, four handles higher in the uh, Treasury bonds. But that low, look at that low, that ABCD low. Look at that, folks. That was to the exact price. I mean, that's pretty good. All right, let's take a break here. 877-927-6648, Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hello. Okay, I believe we're back, folks. Uh, I think we lost an internet connection for a little bit, but right now I think we're okay. I wanted to talk just a little bit here. Uh, let me double check here uh, to make sure I'm still on the air. Uh, Broadsword to Danny Boy. Broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. The chicken is in the pot. The eagle has landed. Let's see. I'm not hearing anything here, so hopefully... Uh, no one's telling me anything. Oh, good. We're all ready to go. Thank you very much. I lost internet connection here for a second. Anyway, this is the gold market. We've been bearish on gold for a bit, uh, especially up in here when we were right near the 61% retracement. And now we started to go down. We broke last. We broke that last support here today. I wrote that down because now we're completing this really large ABCD to the downside, down about another $60, $70. So Watch this one, folks, coming up. This is A. If you like A, B, C, D, A, B, C, and D is way down here. That's where this red arrow keeps going down. But the last support here was at the 78% level at uh, 10, I believe, 1910. We're trading at 1900 after a low of 1895. So we still got some more to go uh, on the downside uh, with that one for sure. Now, let's, another one that I wanted to mention to you because I think I've covered the crude oil because we're, I think we're at a really significant bottom in this crude oil, folks. Uh, pay close attention to it because uh, there's a good possibility that you could have something uh, you know, pretty good coming out of this mess here. Now, I also wanted to uh, bring up to the fact that uh, where we are in the NASDAQ, uh, we're, we're trading right just a few minutes ago, and I, I haven't been able to uh, update this yet, but... Uh, I will get this. The number, the number you got to watch, folks, is 4,200 in that S&P. Uh, actually, the actual number is 4,203. Watch that number because if it can hold 4,203, it's already, you know, folks, believe it or not, we've swung over well over 100 handles already, 50 up, 50 down. I mean, way over 100 because we've had a couple swings in between. So we're having some really great volatility, and that's what you usually see at market bottoms. Now, the whole world thinks that we're going to go down from here, and you know what? Uh, some, sometimes the whole the world, whole world's going to be right. And I think we are going to go down, but I don't know if it's going to be today or not. I mean, look, look what's happened to us, folks. 
This is from one of the folks that sent us some things. Very interesting pattern here uh, in this market. Let's get this up here, and you'll be able to see it here without any trouble. This is what's happened in the last few days. Look at that. Just you can see in the month of April. You know, it's just really been uh, one of the worst Aprils we've ever seen with the market down that much. That's indicative of more things happening, but we're down seven days out of six out of seven days now or something like that. So we're due for a bounce. The question is, is whether it's going to come today or not. That's the $64 question. There's another chart here that shows these what they call these diamond patterns that are out here. I I don't use diamond patterns, but they're interesting because when you see them, that uh, they looks like they're similar. And this happens to be one from uh, 2008. You'll see that you have the diamond pattern over here, and then we got the diamond pattern over here. Well, we haven't. We have to get quite a bit lower to break that diamond pattern. But at this one here, you notice the diamond pattern here, and you had the little rally. That's what you want to see: is that little rally when you got that diamond uh, forming. Just like we're having now, watch that little rally because the ideal situation, if you're bearish, folks, is to see the bottom bear a bottom today, and then rally for three days, maybe even all through the week, and then get ready to sell it on the, this rally wherever wherever it's going to end. Hopefully, uh, in A B C D format. But you know, as we say, you don't always get those, and that's uh, something very important. We do have a. Uh, and some comments from uh, one of our uh, uh, one of our contacts over in uh, Spain uh, to the fact that uh, it appears that the the war and this is speculation, folks, that the war is getting closer to an end. And you know, I respect this guy's opinion, uh, however wrong it may be. So when I hear these, I I, I send them on. But by golly, you know. Just follow the charts. That that's really all I can do. There there's nothing. I mean, this is so. If you get rid of all that stuff that's out there, it it makes it just a whole lot easier than uh, what you might think. Let's just talk here a little bit about this dollar index again, folks, because we have done something that it hasn't done in quite some time, and that is now it's trading substantially above. The level of the 786 up here. You can see that second level there at the 786. I believe it's right there. Oh, I, I got to wait just a second. I got to get it up here so you can see it. Anyway, you can see we're trading substantially above here, way above almost at 102 right now. That's telling us with the dollar index, 53% of it is the euro. So if they're long the dollar, the euro has to go lower. And that's exactly what we're seeing. And as you can see from this next chart that we're going to bring up here, that we do have a very interesting pattern forming here, uh, probably uh, in the next week or so, maybe this week. But you can see the, the beautiful ABCD pattern coming in. You've also got the three drive pattern. You've got drive one, drive two, drive three. And there it is setting there, which would be right at a double bottom. Now, what you like to see is to take that double bottom out by just a little bit, like three or four, maybe as much as 10, 15 pips, not any more than that. And then you would see the market reverse from that level. But it's got to get down there. It's not very far away. We're less than 100 pips now. So, uh, you know, that's been the one that's been heading down. So sell the ones that are going down and buy the ones that are going up. That's the bottom line of what you want to see. So uh, keep that in mind as we as we look at these things here today. So uh, our, our guest will be at Norm here in a, in a couple of minutes. So we have to watch that. But the key figure to watch, folks, so we've been as low as uh, 4206. The key number that we were watching was 4203. Uh, if we're if we're correct on this, the market should start up right about now. Uh, just looking at the AI program that I usually look at, it looks like we should start up in the uh, stock should start to rally again now uh, for uh, pretty much uh, the rest of the day if if it if the long is at 4206 holds. So those are a few things that uh, we're keeping a very close eye on right here. Some of the other things that we want to watch, if you'll double check the uh, the part about the futures in the stock market letter, uh, the trade, what you see, you can see many of these uh, commodities, uh, corn, soybeans, uh, even wheat are starting to roll over a little bit, that there might be some relief coming in uh, the uh, inflation index, but that I don't know. 
So that's it. Uh, also, folks, pay close attention to the crude oil uh, very, very closely now because we just broke below 9,600, and that 95 level is a really big level. And the, and the as we know, that the, uh, the 786 level is uh, just gone below it a little bit. So this level is really important down here, right where we're trading. I'm making a double bottom down here at uh, 95, uh, 93. Just uh, pay close attention to that one because it's got a it's got a really interesting pattern here. We're going to pay a few bills here for Mr. O'Brien. And when we come back, we are going to have none other than Norm Winsky from Naples, Florida, Astro Trends, and he'll be our guest. So we'll be right back after these few words. Have a few more seconds. Sorry about that. I, uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to use this clock because I get I get ch uh, tied up in knots. Well, there goes the 30 seconds. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Norm Winsky on the line from Astro Trends down in Naples, Florida. Norm, how are you doing today? Good. Can you hear me, Larry? You're coming in 10-4, just like we were on a rocket ship, my friend. So take over the mic and let her rip. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Larry. 
All right. Well, like I always do, I review. I believe if I forecast something, I should show you how it all came out. Uh, here's uh, we had quite a few points when I was last on, on I think April the uh, April fourth. Yeah, Monday, April fourth. And so here's what was coming up then. We had Neptune. Neptune, by the way, is oil. You'll see lots of Neptune here this uh, during this period back in earlier April. Neptune lined up with the U.S. chart, U.S. Saturn. That's a natal chart based on the planets on July the 4th, 1776. Anytime time we have the U.S. natal chart pop up, we look at U.S. stocks, T bonds, U.S. dollar. Then again, we had Uranus to the U.S. chart, U.S. T stocks, T bonds, U.S. dollar. Then we had a Mercury cycle over the uh, night 8th season after the close. So the night of the 8th into the morning of the 9th, we had a Mercury cycle. We had sugar grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. We also had a Venus uh, cycle that weekend. That was a weekend. And that's your cattle, copper, cotton, sugar, wheat. And then we had Jupiter to the U.S. again. That's uh, U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. Then we had Neptune and Jupiter in Pisces, which is oil. That's the sign for oil. Uh, line up with Neptune and the planet for oil. And that said, big, trend, big change in trend for oil. And then we had Jupiter, again, line up in Pisces with Neptune for oil. That was a 167-year cycle. And that might have been the uh, maybe the peak in the, in the inflation factor here for a while. Uh, that's also inflation. Uh, Jupiter to the U.S. chart. Again, U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And then the weekend of the, that was the 14th, yeah, the weekend, geocentric Mars went into Pisces. Again, oil. And then we have the full moon over that weekend, too, in Libra. That's your usual suspects, financial screens, precious metals. And because of the Libra, we also look at sugar and, again, wheat, which comes under the greens. So here's the charts. Corn to us, not friendly to us. We had uh, our, our, uh, the rules of the game are uh, if we're going up into one of our time windows here, we're looking to sell. If it's going down, we're looking to buy. If it's going sideways, that's a pass. We do nothing. So corn was going up there into our first window for the greens, and that was a miss. That's a red arrow is a miss. Green arrow is a good. That's we're making we got a chance to make some money, and yellow is sideways. So there we go. So we had two misses there on the corn with the. Uh, let's see that was based on the, uh, the probably the moon maybe. Yeah, we're oh the Mercury cycle on the eighth after the close of the eighth, and then we had the uh, full moon over the weekend of the fourteenth. And those missed. So anyway, we went 50-50 on the beans. We had a good top there on our Mercury cycle. Had a nice one-day pullback. And then we had, then it was just went sideways, and then it did not turn on the moon. Usually the grains do turn on the moon. Here the wheat did the opposite of the soybeans. Did not turn for the Mercury cycle or the Venus cycle, but it did turn on the moon there, right near the high of the month there, right, with the wheat. Uh, cattle was going sideways. It was almost uh, almost a down a pattern here. If it got a little bit lower, we would have gotten a buy, and but it didn't. And so we had a call. I had to call that a pass, as you see there. It's pretty sideways there. In contrast, the cotton did something similar, but emphasized more of the downness. And so, therefore, we had a buy there. And then you can see it was rocket time on the upside, right on our window there of the eighth, of the weekend of the eighth. And then we had sugar that made a nice top there, and you had took a little heat there before it did decline, and then it was going to come kind of sideways over here. And then we had the copper. We caught a nice top there on the copper with the Venus cycle, and it had a big. That's about ten cents there, worth about twenty five hundred dollars in about one day. Uh, but and then silver. Up, up, and away, top right on the moon there. And the gold did the same. And then here's oil. That also topped over that weekend. Oh, we had three uh, oil points back here. We had made a top, then a bottom, then a top. If you want any of these uh, uh, notes, and so you can go over this slow, more slowly, uh, I'll be happy to send them to you. Just contact me. I'll be giving my contact information in a few minutes. Here's the S&P. We had about 10 different data points for the S&P. Uh, we caught, uh, that was just before that bottom there, and then there was a little pop-up. Then this window here, the weekend of the 8th, we had about four points right there, and one the next day, 
and Merkel was just kind of going sideways there, so we took a pass on all five of those. Then we went down here and made a nice low here the weekend of the 14th on our three points there, so we ended up uh, hitting, doing pretty well in the S&P if you took the passes, you know. All right, though, the T-bonds, I usually do very well on the T-bonds, but this month was a, something of a disaster. I had basically missed on all five points. Uh, the dollar, I only hit one good one out of five there. That's really bad. And then the Aussie dollar, the, the currencies dance to the moon often. And they, I see the Aussie dollar made a short-term low right there on the full moon and had a nice bounce up. And then the Canadian dollar also had a pullback low there on the moon. And there's your euro is probably the nicest of the three, down, 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 and then made a low there on the moon and then took a day or two to get going. Then it rallied. Uh, so we have uh, 19 out of 32 points uh, for uh, only, I only did 59% winners. That's one of the worst, uh, <laughs> worst periods I've had in a while. And there we go. Here's what's coming up. We have uh, the 20 over this past weekend, we had heliocentric. That's from the point of view of the sun, Mars entering Aquarius, and that's copper. The one that did that geocentrically from the point of view of the Earth over the weekend, I think it was March 4th, that's when the copper had the spike high over $5 and then dropped uh, about, what was it, almost 50 cents in just a few days. That's a lot of money. That's about. I think it was 40 cents initially. There was a little bounce, and then it went down a little bit more. Uh, 10 cents, I mean, sorry, uh, 40 cents is worth 10 grand. It did that in just a few days back in early March. So watch out for the copper here. We could, we, we, I think we've been going down in the copper, and it could be making a low here now. Uh, you got Jupiter to the U.S. chart, and uh, over the weekend here, so we're, we were due to make us uh, AC. Means over the weekend could be into the Mondays, usually into the next trading days, uh, first hour or two. It looks like we made a low around 10 a.m. Eastern time today, and that, like Larry was saying, uh, that le level it should be a, a critical level there. That, sh according to my uh, models here, that should hold, and we should be getting some kind of bounce here soon, and probably maybe by the end of the day or tomorrow if that. The, the morning's low doesn't hold, then we're in deep doo-doo. You know, we're in trouble. So there we go. We got uh, Neptune to the U.S. chart coming up the night of the 27th. That's Wednesday night. So we could get a rally. If it does rally, we could rally into Wednesday close, Thursday's opening. And then we have another one. The next point, Mercury, a Mercury cycle for the greens on the night of the 28th into the 29th. And then the morning of the 29th. Got to pay a few bills, Norm. Stay with us, please. Will do. Thank you. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, back, folks, with Norm Winsky of Astro Trans. Norm, great stuff. You want to continue, please? Thank you very much. Okay, I was about to tell you that Friday morning, the 29th, in the morning, we have Pluto in Capricorn turning retrograde. That's uh, your Pluto markets are cocoa, hogs, and tea bonds and because it's in Capricorn. Also includes coffee. Let me tell you a little story about, I think it was last April, I came on your show uh, just before a weekend there, the first weekend in April, and that weekend, Pluto was turning retrograde, and you were talking about in the first half of the show that the hogs were in the crash mode and going down, down, down. I came on and I said uh, uh, that I had a change of trend due over that weekend, and we came, and Monday we came in and the, the piggies opened lock limit down, and that was it. And then they reversed, I think it was uh, about 27, oh, it was seven handles. Those are at seven handles times four. 20 about 27 2800 dollars in about 20 minutes you know after pluto turned retrograde you know right so there you go so i didn't watch these markets coke on, on friday morning right around friday cocoa coffee hogs and tea bonds then over the weekend we have a solar eclipse in the sign of taurus the bull and that's because it, that's a special kind of new moon round up the usual suspects financials grades precious metals and because it's in taurus that would include cattle and cotton. So that's something important coming up at the end of the week. Uh, if you don't know me, I've been doing this almost as long as Larry. Back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth there, I went yep. to the right out of college. I bought a membership on the Chicago Board Options Exchange. I was a member and market maker there, helping the pioneer option trading there back in the mid-70s. And uh, if you like, contact me, and I'll go over what I just went over here. And explain any technical terms or anything you like you get a free class and i'll send you the notes if you like or whatever you like so there we go and it's all free 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 with a double mention larry you get the double your money back guarantee right larry you there got you it go. buddy you got it there well, you listen, go here's Lord. how you con here's yeah. how you contact me here in beautiful naples florida two three nine five nine four three nine three nine here's my email in winsky n-w-i-n-s-k-i at e-m-b-a-r-q M A I L dot com, or you can call me on Skype anywhere in the world for free. N W I N S K I underscore one. Looking forward to helping some of your folks there, Larry. And uh, do we have any questions or comments from the Tigers Den? Yes, we do have a comment, and that is uh, the planet Mercury going retrograde. Now, when does that happen next? That's what the uh, comment is. I think I should have that in. Oh, that's in May. That's in May. Okay. Yeah, I think that well, around we'll have I think around the 10th of May. How about we have you back on the 10th of May? Well, somewhere around there. I'll take a look at what's happening. Okay. And try to optimize that. Good. Okay. 
You sound good. And listen, thanks for joining us, Norm, and we'll have you on again soon. And if something special comes up, you know, give me a jingle and we'll have you on. Great. Thanks a lot, Larry. Everybody, you bet. have a great day and make lots of money. You know, I'm looking forward to helping you. Okay, folks, Norm Winsky of Astro Trends down in Naples, Florida. Okay, folks, those of you that like ABCD are in for a treat. And I don't know if it's going to be a trick or a treat, but this is the ABCD as we see it out of the textbook. And that textbook came from H.M. Gardley back in 1937 at a cost of $1,500 when you could have bought four Ford automobiles. Here is the low that we made in bonds down here at 138 Okay, we rallied up and we came down to the 61% retracement and that was the C leg. And there's your ABD C leg right here at 142.10. The high has been 142.11. And this is nothing more than an ABCD rally in the bear market. The problem is, is if we get a lot higher in here, we could still go uh, higher in the move before we finally get a correction. But this is an ABCD pattern as clearly as perfect as you as you possibly uh, could get. It's taken uh, four days for that to finish. That was about what we were expecting. Uh, I believe overall we'll probably see about a nine-point rally off of this bottom down here because it was such a big bottom in the Treasury notes. Uh, my guess is we'll probably get to maybe one, 153, 154, maybe maybe today if the market collapses. No, it's not going to do that. But there is a possibility, of course, that that could happen. But uh, that is an ABCD pattern. Now, as we know, they don't always work, but sometimes they do. We had a question for one of our listeners about something last week uh, that we talked about, and that was in the NASDAQ when we were making – this was the 382 in the NASDAQ, folks – You'll see here, you'll get this up here and be able to see it easy enough. But there was a NASDAQ. You can see the expected weekly range was right up in here. You had the three, the beautiful uh, triple top here, you know, one, two, three. I mean, just a really just beautiful triple top. And then you can see in between you had the perfect ABCD pattern measuring right up to the exactly expected range number, perfect ABCD. And then bada bing, bada boom, and we've dropped uh, a lot in the NASDAQ that's been leading uh, the market down. So uh, that's it. So we'll watch those as we uh, proceed through some of these others. Now, I wanted to share with you a couple other ones. Uh, by the way, that dollar index is still uh, going up, and we're looking for that euro to eventually get down to that level at 106. We're, we're almost re we're just ready to break 107. So I expect it'll probably be probably tomorrow to be watching a, bond, a, a bottom here in the euro and a top in the U.S. dollar index if uh, all things are going to remain the way that they are right now. Let's move on here. There's a couple of things that was really important from a, a long-term perspective. Let me get this up here. Uh, and, th and this is all related to the gold and the silver and everything because we I'll show silver in just a second. But this is the platinum. You can see here that uh, we had this rally up to the 61% retracement. We can't, This is a weekly. But look at this little this little two-week, really two-week rally. We had eight days, folks, where platinum couldn't even couldn't even move. And then when we broke it last Friday, you can see that we've uh, broken even harder, and it's getting hit today. We could see, you know, platinum way down here in that the 700 level. Again, it's hard to believe that platinum's at 700, and gold is at uh, 1800. God, they used to be just reversed from that. Okay, getting back to the silver, uh, I'm not sure whether we hit the objective yet in silver, but you'll be able to see what we're looking for. If Those of you, because I haven't checked it today, and it's just too far away, I believe, but you'll notice that we do have a, a beautiful ABCD pattern here. You see we broke here telling us, we broke on Friday, telling us that we were heading down to this level right here. And folks, that's going to be the last support down there because if that silver doesn't hold that level, then you're going to get the giant ABCD going back to way back when, uh, way back on this part of the chart, way back here, and then down ABC. And then down, that's the Christmas Day one if we get that, folks, because that means we'll get gold down to that magical level of 1776. And uh, that would be really interesting to see that it gets to that one right there. But right now, silver uh, is under a great deal of pressure. Uh, I this, Could someone tell me what the, uh, what the low in silver has been so far today? Uh, I, I just I don't think we got down to 2275. 
uh, in the silver, but you know, you never know. Maybe it did. Uh, so if anybody know what the low in silver was, please let me know because I can't get to that uh, chart package until later. Hey, 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the gold report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the gold. Uh, this is the one we were looking at over the weekend because we knew that if that support failed, that uh, you can see we're looking for much, much lower prices down into way below 1900. We're trading at 1894 right now. So we think that's headed up. Folks, pay real close attention here because we're at some major, major stuff here in the stock market here at 33,200 in the Dow E mini and at uh, 4203. We're already through 4203 in the E mini. Any S and P, but actually, uh, given what I'm looking at in notes and bonds and all the other stuff that's going on, I think in the next hour we might start to have a rally here. We're down seven, seven days. That itself is pretty much of an outlier. But remember, we could easily melt down and go a whole lot lower than that. So I'm still uh, bearish, but I'm very cautious in here because of the fact that you know we've we get we're a little bit oversold. The other thing, folks, is we just made one standard deviation down in the crude oil down there at 95.50. Uh, so that was a real important number to look at. I've already posted the ABCD earlier in the day, so watch that one also. By the way, I'm going to be doing a live 
uh, presentation on the 15th, uh, the five-hour trading thing. It will be my last one for the year, folks. I'm only going to do one this year and because uh, I'm going to be doing some traveling. I'm going to be going back to London and to Dubai and then uh, back to Hong Kong, hopefully in the fall, but uh, and also to Denmark. It looks like we might be going to Denmark, too. So uh, let's keep those dates in mind. Tomorrow, we've got Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. He's been extremely bearish, and uh, we'll like to hear what he has to say. Uh, again, Alfie Lavoie from Air Software will be on on Wednesday. He has a special sale going on that I think you folks that are interested in cycles might be wanting to watch. And then finally, uh, on Shane Smolian, which will, who will be our guest uh, on Thursday. And uh, Friday is an open day, but uh, we'll maybe have somebody. If not, we'll have some fun looking at some of these things that we're watching here uh, today. So keep an eye on some of these things, folks. They're very, very important. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And please do something for your neighbors. Uh, a lot of them are in big trouble, and uh, some of them more trouble than you might think. So that's all I can say, but live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Trading in the stock market seems impossible.